Hello grade 12s. In this video we are going to use compound angle identities. These are divided into two groups namely the compound angle identities and the double angle identities. These are the compound angle identities. Cos in brackets alpha minus beta is equal to cos alpha multiplied by cos beta plus sine alpha multiplied by sine beta. Cos in brackets alpha plus beta is equal to cos alpha multiplied by cos beta minus sine alpha multiplied by sine beta. Sine in brackets alpha plus beta is equal to sine alpha multiplied by cos beta plus cos alpha multiplied by sine beta. Sine in brackets alpha minus beta is equal to sine alpha multiplied by cos beta minus cos alpha multiplied by sine beta. Now let's use these in some examples. Prove that sine 90 degrees plus alpha is equal to cos alpha. Remember, whenever we have to prove something in an equation, it is important to state with which side of the equation you are simplifying. In this case, we let sine in brackets 90 degrees plus alpha be equal to the left hand side. Using the compound angle identity for sine, we can say that sine in brackets 90 degrees plus alpha is equal to sine 90 multiplied by cos alpha plus cos 90 multiplied by sine alpha. This is equal to 1 multiplied by cos alpha plus 0 multiplied by sine alpha, which yields cos alpha. Therefore, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Now, that wasn't so bad, was it? Let's try another one. Simplify cos 5x times by cos x plus sine 5x multiplied by sine x. You must practice these problems enough so that you can recognize that this is the compound angle identity for cos. Let's apply it to this problem. So it is equal to cos in brackets 5x minus x, which is equal to cos in brackets 4x. These two examples appear to be at a basic level. <laughs> Let's have a look at a more challenging example. Evaluate without the use of a calculator cos 79 degrees multiplied by cos 311 degrees plus sine 101 degrees multiplied by sine 49 degrees. Did you notice that all the angles are different sizes? So for us to use the compound angle identities, we first need to change the angles so that they have the same magnitude. The only way we can do this is by using reduction formulas. Let's do this together. By using the reduction formulas, we get cos of 79 degrees times cos of 49 degrees plus sine of 79 degrees times sine of 49 degrees. Now we can again use the compound angle formula for cos so that we have cos in brackets 79 degrees minus 49 degrees, which is equal to cos 30 degrees. And this is a special angle which is equal to square root 3 over 2. Thank you for joining us. Practice what you have learned by doing the questions in the advanced trigonometry task video. You'll also be able to learn more about trigonometry on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.